Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea, and I hope you're all having a smashing day so far. Well, tonight, guys, I'm making a wee winter hot toddy, and I just thought I'd quick, you know, quickly jump on and show you how it's made. It's a really, really simple winter recipe, perfect for a cold. I think traditionally, you know, that's what it was used for, to treat a cold, but it's a lovely wee pick-me-up. You know, if you just think about winter campfires or, you know, if you're going away camping, you've got a wee thermos flask of this tucked away in your bag on a, a cold night and you pull this out, you know, it's just fabulous. So this is what you're going to need if you want to follow along with my wee recipe. A lot of this will be down to your own preference, you know, personal preference, guys. A lot of the citrus fruits, you know, it'll just depend what you've got. You might have oranges, you might have lemons, limes, grapefruit. You know, you don't have to stick to what I'm using. Like I say, just use whatever you've got. Um, I'm also using one cinnamon stick. I'm using two teaspoons of runny honey. I'm using the skin of a grapefruit, the skin of a lemon, the skin of a lime. And I'm also using 50 ml of scotch whiskey. You can also use bourbon as well, but I'm just going to show you the sort of most traditional way of doing it. Like I said guys, it's super duper simple, but it's a lovely wee pick-me-up, especially if you're feeling a bit under the weather. Like I say, traditionally it'd be used to treat a cold, that kind of thing, but it has come synonymous with Christmas now. A lot of this recipe is subjective, so just use whatever, you know, citrus fruit you've got available to hand. Now this is the whiskey that I'm using tonight. This is Hague Club and conveniently it's 50 mils because that's what you're going to be using. But like I say, you can use a bourbon or any other whiskey that you've got to hand. This was actually part of a wee set my other half got given. So I've got quite a lot of these wee miniatures kicking around which are super handy for obviously doing these wee type of recipes. So I'm going to be treating myself to a wee hot toddy tonight. It's awfully handy, you know, if you've got a teapot. It just makes things a wee bit easier. But if you don't have a teapot, that's fine. You can just bump, you know, put it all into a cup and just strain it. But if you've got a wee teapot, all the better. This one's super cute because it's actually got a mug <laughs> attached, which we won't be using. I'm just going to be using, you know, a standard tall glass. I think this is actually a, a latte glass, but I'm going to be using it tonight for my wee hot toddy. And you'll also need a spoon for stirring. The first thing you want to do, guys, is wash your fruit and get a speed peeler and just cut off some of your peel from each of your fruits. Try not to get, you know, try not to go right through the fruit because you're only looking for the peel and you can obviously use the fruit for other things. We're going to be slicing up the lemon so that doesn't matter too much if you go through to the fruit. So like I said, I'm using a lemon and I'm using a lime and I'm using a grapefruit. And that's that. So just set that to the side just now and with the rest of your lemon, just, you know, slice it up. One slice pear glass. Just remember to move any pips that might be in there before you pop it into your glass. So the next thing you want to do guys is get your peel into your teapot. You can pre-warm this teapot if you like. I don't bother because there's going to be boiling water going in anyway which is going to heat the pot. And the next thing I'm doing is I'm popping a whole cinnamon stick in there as well. The reason I don't break it in half is because I don't want any wee floaty bits in there. And then three cloves and then two teaspoons of clear runny honey. And to that, you just want to top it up with some boiling water from the kettle, about 500ml 
or however much you know you want to usually. You just want to leave that to infuse for about three to five minutes. Give it a wee stir. Leave it to infuse for three to five minutes and all those lovely flavours are going to go through your water. Don't leave it too long because you obviously don't want it stewed. So just pop your lid on and come back in a few minutes. And while you're waiting on that doing its thing, you can grab your glass and pop your whiskey into the bottom. So I'm using 50ml of the Hague Club Whiskey. And I'm just going to top that up with about 30 mils of the water from the teapot. This smells fantastic, it really does. And a wee slice of lemon on top of that. And that's it done. Super duper simple but full of lovely spicy flavours and aromas. And you can just leave that or you can have a wee sip, have a wee taste. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Cheers. And it was lovely. I'm not really a whiskey drinker, but do you know what? See with the honey and the spices in there, it's absolutely beautiful. It's such an elegant drink. It really is. Perfect if you've got, you know, people coming round as well. It's one of those drinks that goes down well with most people. So that was it. Guys, thank you very much again for popping over to see this wee quick recipe. I've got meals of the week going up in the next maybe two hours or so. So yeah, so hopefully I'll see you back for that. And I'm also thinking about maybe a mince pie recipe or a Yule log type recipe. So I've not quite decided yet, but I'll be sure to let you know when the time comes. So until I see you next, guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Bye for now. Bye now.